while swimmers called for action on the quality of water in the river camp. They can be seen enjoying the swim during this meeting involving Anglian Water, Cambridge City Council and the Camp Valley Forum. Several local wild swimming groups took part in the friendly demonstration. There are many people who swim in the camp all year round, regardless of the weather and physical conditions. Camp Valley Forum on the day took a sample of the river water to test for levels of contamination. 21st century technology in You don't want to get debris or, or plants with, 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 with dead animals Stuff. or whatever. You want to get the flow going down because we want to know what's actually coming down the river. So you go out as far as you can. And then turn it. And then just turn. You see the bubbles? Uh, uh, the um, into the flow. So I quite like to um, do it for 30 seconds so we've actually sampled quite a lot. And then you just. Just days after the meeting and the swim by, Anglian Water issued a statement explicitly recognizing the extensive use of the cam and other rivers in their area by wild swimmers. We now move to a favorite spot on the river for many wild swimmers. So that's another perfect day and I do love swimming in the river. It's beautiful, especially yeah. on a sunny day like today. And now I'm pleased to be with one of the most experienced swimmers of the year. <laughs> That's Vanessa. <laughs> and on behalf of the more than 500 people that swim in the water around here, I think it's great that they, we've been presented with such a positive opportunity to make the water better and make it safer swimming for all of us. At this particular location, several hundred people swim frequently across the whole stretch of river, from Sheep's Green up to Granchester, many thousands swim both casually and as organized groups. Let's catch up with Rob from Cambridge Wild Swimming. So I've been swimming in the River Cam now for about 15 years. Um, I think it helps me physically, uh, my body feels very refreshed after a swim. Um, I haven't actually had any ailments over the last 12 months since, since I've started regularly uh, wild swimming and so it's a very very pleasurable experience all around. So it's also giving the opportunity to meet new people as well, um, obviously talk to people with a shared interest, um, shared interest about not only the river but about the environment as well. However, from what I've heard, uh, the rivers around Cambridge are not very clean, so it would be good if they could be uh, made cleaner. Here is Rosie from another wild swimming group. And um, I'm part of the Cambridge Open Water Ish Swimmers Group. Um, we're about a membership of about 2,000, and we think that about a thousand people from that group actually swim here in the camp. Would you say that all people uh, would wish to have you know, clean water to swim? Yes, there are times when we're a little bit worried because during a rainy season the water does begin to look as if some of the um, animal um, 
slurry has actually come into the river and also we do understand that sometimes um, the water companies allow um, slurry or sewage into the water. Um, sometimes the river looks really beautiful and clear and crystal clear and then sometimes it worries us a little bit um, but obviously it's terribly important because of disease, safety, security and cleanliness. Anglian Water are committed to a testing regime to identify contamination, pinpoint the sources and take action. This is a great comfort to the many thousands of people who swim in the section of the river camp. As a passionate wild swimmer myself, I share everyone's concerns about cleanliness of water. So please, if you want me to track the developments on this topic further, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and many thanks indeed for watching.